error connecting. When you try to start your software, and you get this, there are several things you can check. First of all is, go ahead and close the software out. You can check the device manager and make sure your COM port is set up correctly. So you can do that a couple ways. Click start, type in device, and then click device manager. Or you can click start, right click computer, go to properties, and then click device manager at the top. looking for is ports. Click the arrow next to ports and right click this SSUSB RS422 and go to properties. Click port settings. Make sure the bits per second is at 57600. It defaults to 9600 so make sure it says 57600. Click advanced. Make sure the COM port number is set to 2. And then click OK, click OK, exit that, exit that, and also check, right click the 3D Pro desktop icon and click open file location, and look for this text file called com setup. Open that up and make sure that the bottom two lines say 2 and 57600. It's that COM port we just set and that baud rate that we had set. And if you have to change it, click File, Save, and exit that, exit that. And then the next thing to check is the Task Manager to make sure that the software is not hung up in the background. So even though I don't have the software open at all, I can check that by right-clicking your an empty spot in your task bar and then clicking start task manager or you can hit control alt delete and hit start task manager and look for 3d pro in the list you can sort by image name and it should bring 3d pro near the top since it's a number at the beginning and you'll see that it's hung up there and it's probably taking up some CPU. Click on that or let's see. You can click on that and then click end process or you can right click it and end process. And end process. And just make sure there's no other 3D pros in there. and try opening your software again. If you still get this problem, then close the software, unplug the USB from your computer going to the machine, push in the red button on the left side of your machine, and wait about 10 seconds. Twist out the red button on the left side of your machine. Wait a few seconds. Then plug the USB in. So plug that back into your computer. And wait a few more seconds. and then start the software. You'll know it starts to work when you kind of see the white boxes just kind of sitting there while it's looking for the machine. This part could take a few seconds. You see the connecting, and then once it's done, you should see motion board detected. 
And that's all. Thank you. Bye.